guys, it's Kayla and Jim. Welcome back to another Meteorology Monday. What are we talking about today? Today we will be talking about the 100th anniversary of the tri-state tornado that occurred on March 18th, 1925. This was a very interesting case study that we did. Devastating storm. Uh, it was on the ground for over three and a half hours. It killed 695 people and over 2,000 people were injured with this storm. Again, we've got a lot of details on this that's in our case study. Yep. So editing Kayla, we'll put the link down below and you can go check that out. But again, there are two different camps when it comes to this storm. One camp is it was on the ground continuously the whole way, and the other camp was, well, it might have been multiple tornadoes. Yeah. And we go into detail with that as well in the case study, so go ahead and check that out. But before we get started. If you find that you're enjoying yourself along the way, be sure to leave a like and subscribe down below so you never miss the next Meteorology Monday. And if we haven't mentioned the three states that make this the tri-state tornado are Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana. Now this was a very big and devastating event that took place and there are quite a few highlights to go over so before we get into more of this video let's list some of the highlights of the tri-state tornado. The tornado moved across three states including 13 counties. It traveled 219 miles in three and a half hours with an average forward speed of 62 miles an hour. The maximum forward speed was 73 miles per hour. The tornado averaged about three quarters of a mile wide with a maximum width of one mile across. It was estimated to be an F5 rating with maximum wind speeds of over 300 miles an hour. And the lowest pressure recorded inside the tornado was 977 millibars. So 977 millibars, very, very low pressure. Yes. Um, for those of you that are more into altimeter readings, that's 28 point something. Uh, it's in our case study, but most, let's say, strong low pressure systems that get cranked up are probably in the 990 millibar range or yeah. so. We're talking about a tornado, very strong, 977 millibars. In fact, uh, one of the studies we did was uh, with Tim Samaras. He actually right. had his turtle probe out there and and it measured a hundred millibar drop. So very interesting where this reading was taken from, you know, how far away from the tornado, it could have been much lower too. Yeah, so that information came from our Manchester, South Dakota tornado case study that we just did a couple weeks ago, where the probe Tim Samaras put out there actually got a direct hit, measured a hundred millibar drop. So this one being only 40-ish, 50-ish millibars below sea level, this reading could have been taken very far from the center noting that the winds were estimated to be over 300 miles an hour also as we said this tornado was booking it at a maximum speed of 73 miles an hour which for the longest time was the fastest recording forward speed of a tornado until the pilger nebraska tornado and we have a comparison video if you want to check that out as well it'll pop up in this corner and also be linked down in the description box now as you may be thinking 1925 we already discussed how there wasn't a whole lot of data back then, probably not a whole lot of pictures or, or anything taken. What was very, very interesting was one of our followers actually had a, uh, an interest in this storm and discovered, you know, yeah, there really wasn't a whole lot of yeah. pictures or anything with this storm and really had a desire to look at what was there and come up with some illustrations for really what it could have looked like as a colored version uh, as well. So we thought that these images were spectacular and we talked with him and I'm gonna let Kayla explain a little bit more, but we thought it was just great to share it with you guys too. Yeah, so a couple months ago, Jonathan reached out to us and showed us some of the images that he was working on, actually creating these from scratch using Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator to bring to life the tri-state tornado. And he knew that the 100th anniversary was coming up and was like, hey, this is what I'm working on. We were like, this is so cool. Can we use this for a video? He said, absolutely. And then we got the chance this week to actually chat with him and get some more information about how he came up with what the tri-state tornado could have looked like. 
So Jonathan said that a couple things that got him into wanting to illustrate weather events, because he's not a meteorologist, but he has such an interest in weather. A couple things were the Weather Channel's special called Tornado Target, which briefly mentioned the Tri-State Tornado. And then the History Channel also had something called Wrath of God, where an episode focused on the Tri-State Tornado. And he used both of those, along with a couple YouTube videos and some eyewitness testimonies gathered by Dr. Charles Doswell and various other photos from around that time to put together the images that you see up on the screen now. And he also said that each of these illustrations took him several hours to do, which that's more patience than I think I have. <laughs> <laughs> I think they turned out spectacular. The kudos uh, to that kind Absolutely of artistry. Amazing, yeah. I mean, I, there's no way that I could do that. There's no way I could, you know, draw a straight line, pick up my pencil, put it down and continue it. It doesn't look like some sort of chicken scratch. So uh, kudos, Jonathan. You did an excellent job. <laughs> yeah, this is why uh, thank you to Jonathan and not Dad for illustrating the Tri-State Tornado. <laughs> you would want me to do illustrations of, of a storm. It would look awful. You know. <laughs> for the next one, maybe we'll have Dad illustrate a tornado. Four <laughs> pencil scratches and a swirly bit in the middle, and then we're gonna say ta-da! There you go. That's it. That's it. It might have worked when you were two, but now you're older and it's maybe not gonna work. Bust out the crayons. <laughs> so thanks again to Jonathan, and hopefully we get to see more of your work in the future. So there you have it. I know this video is a little bit shorter than the videos that we usually put out, but we wanted to take time since this week is the 100th anniversary of the Tri-State Tornado to acknowledge that share some facts again, and go over the illustrations that Jonathan shared with us. Again, if you want to go into more detail with the Tri-State Tornado, we have quite a few videos out there. We've got It Vs. The Pillager Tornado, we've got the full-on case study, and then we've got a video about the records that it broke as well. All of those, again, linked in the description box if you want to check those out. And let's also start a dialogue that if you have any family members, family history of folks that were in that area, please share it with us. We are very interested in hearing your stories. Yeah, there's quite a few interesting facts about this tornado, one of them being that it looked like a dust storm and a lot of people were taken off guard. So there's quite a lot of history surrounding this event along with the meteorology. Again, if you like what you saw, be sure to leave a like and subscribe down below so you never miss the next Meteorology Monday. Follow us over on social media, Facebook and Instagram. If you are interested in taking your weather knowledge to the next level, check out School of Weather. It is linked at the very top of the description box. If you are ready to take the first steps in becoming a weather expert, tiers one and two of School of Weather go over the basics of meteorology, and tier two towards the end gets into severe weather, how it forms, and the nitty gritty of tornadoes and hurricanes if severe weather is something that interests you. If you want to help support the channel, check out our Patreon page, also down in the description box. Until next time, I'm Kayla. And I'm Jim. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you at the next Meteorology Monday. too energetic sorry come on now I'm man sorry you Jeez. sounded doom and gloom and then you sounded like huzzah everyone died <laughs>